This is sharp. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we're gonna do an unboxing and first impression on the Rogue Agro Bar. Won't be quite a review because we haven't been able to use it enough. Literally, it's sitting here. I've had this in my garage for an entire weekend and I have not opened it because I wanted to wait to do it on camera for you guys. Just to let you know, I would never do that except for my best friends, so. You're welcome. But we're gonna take it apart, open it, and see how it compares to other bars out there. I will say, just up front, this is supposed to be the sharpest barbell in existence. In fact, it is so sharp, Rogue gave us a warning, okay? And it says this, and this may be marketing, and if it is, it's smart marketing. Warning, the 3X Agro is our most aggressive neural to date, and one of the sharpest and least forgiving Neuralings on the market. Anyone unsure of their tolerance level, does anybody really, their, toler, their neural tolerance, I, nobody talks about that, should avoid this option. Returns will not be accepted if you're a pansy. Just kidding. Returns will not be accepted on the basis of any pain or discomfort caused by the neuralin itself. So if you're a masochist, masochist, is that masochist? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You may enjoy this bar. We'll find out. I don't love the most aggressive neural. I like a medium medium neural, medium aggressive neural, but we'll find out how it is. So let's get into it. Okay, now while I'm opening this, I just wanna say this, I'm gonna keep saying this till I'm blue in the face and somebody changes it. The fact that I just spent $525 on a barbell and it still has the worst first impression experience of any unboxing experience in the entire world is so freaking annoying. Barbell companies, please come out with a better option for opening a barbell than this. I just read a biography on Johnny Ive, who's an industrial designer for Apple, and he talks about the reason that they came up with like the nice clamshell design and everything like that is because it's the first impression of the product for every user. Why not make the first impression of a barbell better? I mean, right now, it, like this is just freaking awful, but whatever. I know it's a first world problem, I get all that, but still. Can't you see we're filming here? He's pissing on him. That's right, pal. I do the same thing. Should we close the garage door? There we go. All right, now we're in the secret layer. I have also opened hundreds of these, literally stupid barbells. They did, they have add, started adding foam, which is nice to the end caps. The end of it, that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's very disappointing. Look at this end cap. It's the exact same as every other Rogue Ohio bar. I get it, it's a Rogue Ohio power bar, but man, like Rogue already has disappointing like end caps. I sound like I'm just crap on the bar right now. We haven't even opened it yet. Hold on, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a reviewer. This is honest take. Thank you, Mike. Unsheath it, please. Wow, this is sharp. Wow, baby. Man, this is, this, <laughs> woo, woo. Hold on, let me get something to hold this in place. <laughs> this isn't like, I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh my goodness. What color do you want? Blue? Red. Blue? Blood red. <laughs> Blood red, okay. <laughs> All right. A lake on rogue play nice now, kids. What's up, Bob? <laughs> Got the bow and arrow? Show it to us. Sweet. Let me just say, wow. As you guys stay outside, okay? This is way more than I expected. You can tell how Ezra. This thing is so freaking sharp. You can tell how sharp it is by the cardboard that has been shredded <laughs> in it. Like, where did that cardboard even come from? It's just like embedded in the neural. Seriously. Like, this is one of those that it's like, you gotta feel it. Nathan, can you come over here and just feel it on camera for me? Just feel it. It's unreal. <laughs> Mike, can you come feel? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, 
Mike's a heavy puller too. What do you pull? 400 something? Right around 500. Right around 500. There's no way I'm pulling 500. That thing is sharp. And the, the other thing is the center neural is the exact same sharpness. And if you look at the bar, like because it's cut, so it looks like it's almost like expanded in those sections because it's just been brutalized with a knurling tool. And it's just like, oh my goodness. You got to drive a yellow H2 Hummer to, to use this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So just to start, let's start on the end. Okay. Let's start at the tip, just the tip. This is a rogue Ohio power bar. It's just a version of it called the Agro. The end cap is not using the special, they got this monster logo here that is sick, but it's just using the same Ohio power bar logo. But this sleeve is the same material as the shaft. This is a stainless steel sleeve, which you never see stainless steel sleeves because it's an expensive material and it's like chrome is good enough. This is just like extra, 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 extra. And the sleeve is just the, like, it's just the coloring of it, the back and forth, it's just beautiful. There's something just about stainless that is so freaking nice. Moving to the inside, they went with a bronze bushing. So the spin rotation system is a bronze bushing. It's not a bearing system, it's a bronze. What the freak? Is that too loud, do you think? It's getting louder, it was okay earlier. Um, Where's he, where are they mowing? Now on the rotation system, they're using a bronze bushing. They've started to use composite bushings on a lot of their bars, but it seems like for the Ohio power bar, they're using pretty much bronze bushings across the board. It's a basic bushing, nothing special about it. And then the knurling. The shaft is entirely stainless steel, just like the sleeves, same material. And then they took my recommendation because I did that review on the Matt Chan bar and said, I don't know why you would add Cerakote over stainless steel. It makes no sense. Well, they decided to add Cerakote only in the sections right here and right here. And this is purely cosmetic. I mean, this is just for aesthetics. And I gotta say, it looks pretty BA. With this little black section here, contrasting against the stainless steel is sweet. They've got the Rogue Mark, which I think is a cool logo. Like if you spend this much money, it's kind of like a Ferrari badge. But then this guy is pretty sweet too. I don't know the story behind this little monster aggro guy, uh, but, I could see my son wearing that shirt. Single neural marks on either side, just like most power bars, and then a center neural. But this thing is just like, I can't stop touching it. Now I will say, because it feels like it's expanded, I did notice something here on this little tag. This is a 3X. They have a 2.5X too, which is cheaper. Like whenever they neural bars, they have to replace the tooling a lot because it just damages it, especially because how hard this material it is. So I would guess that the reason that they have to like charge more for this one is because it takes more tool and it costs more to replace it, things like that. So this bar itself, this 3X is 525. The two and a half X isn't quite as sharp. It basically has the tops chopped off of it. So it's more volcano neural. This one is just like mountain peaks. And it says right here, they're instead of just doing weight, they're also doing outside diameter of the shaft, which is cool. So they're giving you a range. The minimum is 1.1735. The max is 1.1765. This one, According to them is 1.1763 QC'd by Mike G built by BB, which is freaking sick. BB, I believe is like the guy who's been there the longest building bars, pretty sure. Let's do a couple things. One, let's weigh it. And two, I want to deadlift with it just real quick, just so we can feel, you know, the goodness on camera. And I, I just want to see how much it digs into my hand. I mean, coming, actually bring the camera in here. Let's see. You can just see it. I'm surprised they're not just blood pouring out of here. You know, it's just like, I mean, that thing is sharp. All right, let's get the scale out. Let's weigh it and then let's lift it. And I will just set that zeroed out. Now we shall see. That's good. 45.1, so dang good. You don't want it under, I mean, that's exactly where you'd want it. Beautiful. All right, let's take it off. Let's put a little bit of weight on it. Probably more than all of you can lift, like 135. Um, <laughs> and then we'll deadlift it. Let's do it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just for you guys, I'm gonna throw the 100 pound deep dish on there. I feel like these are the only plates that are worthy of this barbell. Do 
don't ask me why these are so dusty. Okay, 245. All right, so I'm setting up my deadlift. I'm, I'll probably do this overhand. I'm, it just, it is so sharp. It's not quite like you're gripping razor blades, but it's not that far off. It doesn't, I mean, this to me is not like an enjoyable feeling. I know some of you guys like, you know, pain, blood, sweat, and tears, that sort of stuff. I, I'm not into that right now in my stage of life. All right, three, two. Oh, yep, that's sharp. I'm hook gripping right now. That was a bad decision. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is like... It's sharp, it's freaking sharp. Well, Rogue, if being sharp was the goal you were going for, you achieved it. Honestly, this is pretty sick. Like, having an option to purchase a super sharp bar. Now, I feel like because they made the end stainless, it's gonna turn off a certain amount of audience because they can't afford it. It's just kind of expensive, but they did it up right. Like, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Would I recommend it for most people? Heck no. If you want the sharpest bar in the world, this is it. I've never felt a sharper neural than this. All right, this is Coop from Garage Reviews. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go put some lotion on my hands. We'll see you next time. Peace.